Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a Masters of the Universe Skeletor face paint. These are the materials that we're going to be using in today's video. You can also see a list in my description box below. And this is what the finished face paint is going to look like guys. Uh, this is a real fun cosplay or Halloween makeup. So first thing I'm going to start with is a sponge and I've activated it by spraying it with some water and I've got my bright yellow DFX and I'm just basically making sure that I cover my entire face all the ways, um, all the way under my eyes and on all the creases there so I'm starting off with a bright yellow base at first and next I'm coming in with my number 4 brush and some black DFX and I'm pretty much outlining uh, the eye sockets here of Skeletor's face And then what I'm doing, I'm going to do some creases here, like on the forehead, because I'm going to make him do his kind of angry face. And next I'm working on the nose socket parts here of the skull. And what I'm doing, I'm actually doing a black outline, because what I want to do with this cosplay is actually um, black out the rest of the image behind the skull. So when it's actually underneath the hood, um, you can't see any of my hair or my ears or anything like that. So I'm basically just doing the outline here of the skull. And to get everything symmetrical, I'm going starting with my left side and then my right side and vice versa. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to make my face actually look narrower than it normally is. So as you can see here, um, I've come in underneath the cheekbones and I'm coming in very narrow to the chin. And then in the centre part of my lips here, I'm actually going to start uh, painting out Skeletor's teeth. And I'm still using my black DFX here as you can see, but I'm making sure that there's not too much paint on the brush and I'm pretty much just using the tip of the brush right now and the reason that I'm starting in the center is so that I can get everything symmetrical and I get the right number of teeth that I want and what I'm doing I'm just kind of going with an upside down V shape here on the top just to get the shape here of the teeth And then I'm going to do the same on the bottom, just do like a basic V shape and then just join all of the lines. And now I'm going to start blacking out the areas that I want to. So I'm going to start here with the nose socket. And now I'm going to do the same with the eyes. I'm going to start blacking out the eye area. Once I've got both eyes done, I'm going to come in with some black Meron powder and a smoothie blender. And I'm going in around the eyes. And the reason I'm doing this is just so it actually it takes the shine off the paint and I actually want to make this look hollow so I want something that has more of a matte finish than a shine finish and then what I'm doing now I'm just blacking out the the areas that I want hidden so I'm actually going to go all the way under my neck and then also on the top of my forehead and now I've got some lime green paradise paint and I've got the tip here of my sponge and I've just sprayed the uh, paradise paint just to activate it and I'm just basically wanting to just highlight certain areas of Skeletor's face with some lime green um, I'm kind of trying to go with the classic cartoon look but also make it look a little bit more realistic at the same time so I basically just um, added green to my uh, temple and the forehead uh, just above the cheekbones and the chin and now what I'm doing um, to get some shading I've got some my black Meron powder and a smoothie blender and what I do I actually first of all put the smoothie blender and then I flip the, the smoothie blender over where there's no paint and then I just blend it down 
so that way I'm just trying to get some some shadows here and I like to use this because um, this is something you can use very quickly and I'm going to do the same here under the eye sockets just adding some shadows in because now I want to try and make this look as 3D as possible So I'm just doing the same process here, just actually adding uh, some powder, then flipping the smoothie blender over, and then uh, blending everything in. But just make sure that you don't use too much powder, you, you just don't want to go too dark, because um, you just want to get some light contrast and light highlights. And I'm going to add some here on the teeth, just make these a little bit darker. And now I'm going to come in with some white DFX and my uh, number two brush. And I'm just adding some white highlights where I think that I really need it. Just like here on top of the eye sockets. And just a little bit here on the cheekbones. And what I do, I tend to kind of just put some paint on and then just blend it in softly with my finger. And now I've got my filbert brush, and how do I use this? I actually um, add some black DFX, but I make sure it's a very dry brush here. So I'm doing like a dry brush technique on my face. And this filbert brush is very great for blending. So I'm just enhancing my cheekbones a little bit more. And there you go guys, this is what it looks like. Um, I also added a purple cloak just to kind of finish the cosplay. Uh, this is a real great makeup for Halloween um, or any parties. And this is the basic kind of skull shape that I like to use whenever I do my skeletons. Uh, so thank you so much for watching guys. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel. And we will see you real soon.